You know, choosing your top 13 films after producing them over 13 years here at Odyssey isn't exactly easy because there are just so many of them. And as I prepare to stand down as CEO, what I'm really pleased about is how we were able to get across so many stories of faith in action. Because that's what we do here, that's what we lift up. Now the film you're about to see does that brilliantly. You see, there are just some people who are powerhouses. People of faith who are troublemakers for justice and for God. Now Desmond Tutu was one of those, and I had the pleasure to interview him several times when I was in South Africa covering the end of apartheid. And there's another person like that in the film you're about to see. Sister Simone Campbell, who in 2013 crossed America demanding comprehensive immigration reform. And I bet you know the name of that tour. Yes? Nuns on the bus. Raise your hands! Raise your voices! For comprehensive immigration reform now! We're on the road going from Ellis Island to Angel Island in San Francisco Bay to say that comprehensive immigration reform is good for the 100% of our nation. We know that immigration is the glory of our past and the hope for our future. So we've gone on the road to push for comprehensive immigration reform now. What we have to do is let them know we the people are not afraid. We the people know the way forward. We the people know this is the best economic stimulus bill that's going to be passed by the Senate. So what we've discovered is bringing the bus kind of shines a light for people on this amazing work they've been doing and educates us about what's going on all across our country. It's very important that we struggle together in this fight for justice. We have labor, we have labor standing together with the Chamber of Commerce, now isn't that a miracle, saying that immigration reform is the way forward. And if you know anything about Catholic Church politics, we have the bishops and the nuns standing together saying this is the way forward. We've seen a lot of immigrant workers that are exploited, um, sometimes not paid. Many times there's other types of abuse at work, like when you're injured, there's no workers' comp, there's no insurance coverage for you, and so um, not only does that affect immigrant families, but when you have to go to a public hospital because you don't have health insurance or any coverage from your company, those medical costs get passed on to citizens. We know that people are afraid economically, and this is where, for me, I think it's really important to get the truth out, that this is an economic benefit for us. We are better as a nation when we solve our problems and we move forward. Damos un alto a las deportaciones y a la separación familiar. And we demand an end to the deportations and the separation of families. What I'd never known till we came on the road was the fear of families who are living in the shadows. In Savannah, a 17-year-old told us that she had gotten her DACA papers and she now is so afraid for her parents' safety, who, who are working full time but don't have papers, that she drives them to and from work because she has the papers. And her fear for her family is crippling her. And so what we have to do is help people know that we're in this together. We have each other's backs and allay fear. That is a very faithful response because faith is all about building community. Every faith says it's about community. It's how we treat each other. And I like to say, you know, I am my sister's keeper. I am my brother's keeper. But it's true for all of us. It's time with all of this unity in our nation, we must make it happen. And I had this image that each of the little places that we go becomes like a light on this Christmas tree chain. And that when we get comprehensive immigration reform, what's going to happen is that's going to plug these lights in and the whole long string or along our whole country is going to light up and we the people will be better for it. Isn't she remarkable? In fact, that tour was so successful it captured the imagination of America. The news crews from all over the world followed them from the East Coast to the West Coast. In fact, that tour was so successful that Nuns on the Bus has become an annual event. Now, Sister Simone Campbell, who led the network organization behind those tours, 
stepped down from leading it last year. But the whole organisation is remarkable, standing up for the marginalised and the poor. So check out their website and, and find out details of the next tour of Nuns on the Bus. And check out Odyssey's website and our own YouTube channel for more films about immigration. Be inspired by them and let loose your inner Simone Campbell.